Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the Let's Play. If I may, my friends, I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support you have been showing this series lately. And especially a big thank you for all of the support on the live stream yesterday. We did our first live stream from within this new season here. And oh man, the amount of support that was shown there it was just truly staggering. So thank you so much for all of the love in the form of the likes, subscriptions, comments, super chats, and new memberships lately. Like seriously, the support goes a long way. Don't forget my friends, if you want to continue seeing these episodes daily, 1000 likes is the goal we're going for in the episodes in this series. So today my friends, we have ourselves a whopping great goal to go for. We are going to head back to the trial chamber and this time we're going to make it the ominous version. Only we have here a bad omen four bottle and according to the wiki and some of you folks, the higher the amount of bad omen you have, the longer the trial omen resultant effect will last for, okay? So yeah, we're gonna take this down. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna see if we can't get ourselves some epic loot from the ominous vault, the higher end ones, that is. If we can get ourselves a heavy core in today's episode and thus make my first ever mace, ever, that would be pretty darn amazing. In the meantime though, my friends, I just want to give you a little bit of a run through of the things that we did in the live stream yesterday. First of which is this semi-automatic honeycomb farm. We've got a minecart going back and forth, which will pick up all of the honeycomb that will be dropped when we press this button. Yeah, works an absolute treat. My good sir, you need to get out of here. Well, I say good sir, you're really not. <laughs> and there we are, now up to 49 honeycomb. Wow, the lava farm is like almost entirely full. That is absolutely mad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this little dripstone and lava farm area. Yeah, it's doing well. The other thing that we did in the live stream and well, it was the primary thing we did in the live stream was we started to dismantle the trial chamber so we could grab ourselves a whole ridiculous ton of copper. This, my friends, is going to be one of the main blocks we use in the eventual enchanting lighthouse. And as you can see over there, we've got ourselves a whopping great birch forest going on now. And that's simply because birch wood is another thing we need for the eventual enchanting lighthouse. Random side note, I'm sure you've spotted it as well. I now have a creeper cave. Yeah, bit of a nod back to the old days, my friends. Well, I say that it's not a red creeper cape but I'll still take it. For any of you guys who don't know, I believe this is to celebrate Minecraft's 15th anniversary. I believe if you go onto minecraft.net and log into your Minecraft account, you can then follow some link or other to claim your free Minecraft Creeper Cave. And I believe there are some more rewards to come even still as part of the 15th anniversary celebration. So I'll try my best to link the relevant page in the description down below for any of you folks who are interested in getting this creeper cape. So then my friends, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this well. Three golden apples for regen. We've got ourselves a decent food source here. I feel like it might be a good idea for us to enchant both the bow and the diamond sword so we can try to maximize our damage. And well, as you can see, it's a bit of a gamble. We've got unbreaking on both the sword and the bow. I'm not entirely sure how I'm feeling about that. So... I don't know. I feel like I'm tempted to do a dud enchant and see if I can't get myself some form of decent damage enchant. Power 4 on the bow would be fantastic. Sharpness 4 on the sword would also be fantastic. So let's do a dud enchant. Do a little bit of that. What have we got now? Oh, look at that. Brilliant. And the oh, <laughs> okay. We've got a choice here. Sharpness 4 or power 4. I mean, it has to be sharpness 4, surely. Boom. Hey, knockback, that's actually not too bad. In terms of going into the trial chamber and being able to keep folks at bay, this might actually be quite a good sword. No way. And then the very next enchant on the bow is infinity. Bruh. <laughs> oh, you bet your sweet buds we're going to be going for that. Right, let's see if we can get up to 30 from taking out all this copper that I've been smelting. And there we have it. Yeah. Oh, dudes, we're getting all the things today. <laughs> what a start to the episode, though. Here we go. Infinity. 
Hey, we got powerful with it. I mean, we don't have them breaking, unfortunately, but you know, there's worse things to cry about, I think. I'd be very surprised if we wound up using the entire durability of the bow while we're down in the trial chamber. Put it that way. I think we'll be fine. So let's try and be as organized as possible. We're going to put these three away. We're going to make sure we've got the pickaxe on us and then our weaponry torches. Yeah, probably not all that useful, but I'll probably still take them down. We've got a bed in one of the houses over at the village. We can clear out two more inventory slots if we go ahead and shout out the super chat legends and indeed the comment of the day right now. So let's do exactly that. In the last episode, we had Toasted Toad with the $15 donation. Thank you so much for that, Toad. A long time supporter of this channel. Really appreciate the support there, buddy. And then I think in the VOD of my first live stream from season three, we actually had Stephen Catoni donating $10. Stephen, thank you so much for that, bud. I really appreciate it. And for today's comment of the day, we have James Robinson, who asks, will you be taking down the Ender Dragon in this season? In a word, yes. <laughs> I mean, why not, basically? Why not? We have not built anything in the end in the 100 episodes prior to the start of the season. So I just don't see a reason why not. Why not go for the dragon? It's not exactly going to be deleting anything, is it? Since we haven't built anything. So yeah, as obvious a goal as it sounds, maybe that could be another little mini season goal for season three here. Just take down the dragon. It's easy enough, especially now that we've got power for infinity on a bow. <laughs> Alrighty, so in case things go south, I'm going to set my spawn point in this house nearby the trial chamber, okay? And without further ado, it's time to get down there. While we're making our way down here, my friends, I just want to remind you that if you are new to this channel via this video here today, a warm welcome to you. I hope you'll enjoy what you see, and I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on my future Minecraft videos. If you are interested in going further with the support, though, you can head on over to pythongb.com PC, where all through the month of May 2024, you can get a whopping 10% off my range of Apex Gaming PCs when you use discount code Python. So, here we are. This is how far we got in terms of dismantling the trial chamber. We've still got all of the tough bricks and various bits and bobs here, but a lot of the copper has been removed. So, yeah, there's still a lot more that can be removed, but I feel like I've got enough copper now to the point where I should be able to actually build and finish my enchanting lighthouse in the next couple of episodes. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Bad Omen 4. Oh, snap. So here we go. We've got a hundred minutes of that. But when we go up to this thing, it should change, right? Yeah. What do we got? Trial omen. An hour's worth. Whoa. Okay. Very interesting. These guys have got far superior loot and gear. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of those guys had a diamond helmet, in fact. So that's a little bit alarming, perhaps. Right. Ah. Son of a gun. Boom. Wrecked, wrecked, and this guy, there's status effect on the floor as well. Wow. Whoa! Son of a gun. Wait, what did we get there? Oh, we got one! We got an ominous key first time going! Oh! Okay, that, my friends, is absolutely fantastic. Right, as far as I know, I think it is... Wait, is it, like, up here? The ominous vault? Nope, not this side. Okay, maybe it's in a different room then. All right, well, never mind. We are going to see what else we can do. The wind charged effect. What the heck is that? All right, so here we are. Got some more skelly bots about to roll on in. And what we're going to do is see if we can't... Oh, they're actually rolling down to us here. Oh, that guy's got... Wait, <laughs> they're killing each other. Hilarious. All right, that guy's done. We've got a diamond guy here. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Sharpness four, folks. Sharpness four. Boom. Done. And this guy. Boom. And he's done as well. Oh, snap. All right. What do we get this time? Golden carrots. Whoa. What the? Uh, that's alarming. Wait, what is that? Oh, infested effect. Interesting. So if they manage to hit me, then I'm going to have a chance of spawning silverfish, it seems. Wow, that was easy. Okay. Uh, these breezes have gone from being the most annoying mob to take down to, like, actually one of the easiest. 
<laughs> okay, right. Ah, son of a gun. Alright, booze. Come on now. You're going down there, son. Oh, if I can hit you, that is. Oh, that's got him. So, yeah, there are some interesting things going on here. There's a whole bunch of, like, random potion effects going on. Uh, I don't know what potion effect that was. Maybe it was, like, an instant health potion, for example. Oh, good day to you, sir. Right. Come on. Come on. You're going down. And he's fallen all the way down, in fact. Come on. Stop trying to get away, you son of a gun. All right, and my game's crashed. Ah, we may be caught in a crash loop here, ladies and gentlemen. I've just looked at the Minecraft bugs tracker, and for this particular snapshot, 24W20A, there's an issue open that says the game crashes when entities die while having the oozing effect. That means that there must have been someone or other that had the oozing effect, I killed it, and as a result, yeah, watch this. We're about to crash again, aren't we? Uh, yep, there we go. Instant crash. Alrighty, my friends. So, I've just read about a workaround for this particular bug in that all you need to do is downgrade to the previous snapshot 24W19B. That seems to have done the job. And we've still got everything on us. Everything still seems okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, there you go, my friends. The uh, downsides of playing snapshots. You get this stuff happen to you at times. It just comes part of the package. If you wanted to play experimental slash snapshot things, these are the things you need to expect. And we've still got our trial omen effect as well. Okay, fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, is it time? Is it time? Are we about to do this? We're about to open up our first ever ominous vault. Opening up. We've got ourselves an advancement. Wind charge, diamonds, more diamonds, a golden apple. Is that an enchanted gold apple? No, it's just a bog standard gold apple. All right, we've got five diamonds out of that, though. That's not bad, is it? Now, as far as I know, we've got maybe, what, three more ominous vaults to open up, and then we should be good to go. So, let's go ahead and see if we can find the remainder of the rooms. All right, so over here, we've got the silverfish room. Come on, then. I wonder if I could one-shot these fellas. Oh, I can. Oh, this is about to be super easy. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Out of here. <laughs> ah! Oh, I'm getting poisoned slightly. Oh, random stage effects. Not cool, Boo Boo. Stop. No. Ah! Oh, I'm getting swarmed now. Because these folks can't wear armor, I'm pretty sure to compensate for it, the trial omen will actually spawn more enemies than normal. Usually you get, what, six enemies from these uh, challenge boxes? But since those guys can't wear armor, yeah, there's a lot more going on. Oh, look at this as well. We actually have ourselves a second ominous trial key. Absolutely fantastic. We can go ahead and uh, open this one just over hither. So, opening up. Let's see what we get. Emeralds. Uh, whoa! Wait, isn't that thing, like, hyper-rare to get out of the ominous vault? A block of diamond! <laughs> wow! Okay, that, that was an incredible vault box right there. Just incredible. All right, so we still got that one up there. I'm going to torch it so we know that, you know, it's there and we need to get it. We're going to get rid of the torches here because, you know, I like to make easy ways of knowing whether or not I've done something or not. Coming up next are these spiders. Once again, though, because these guys can't wear armor, it will probably wind up being the case that there's a lot more enemies that spawn out of here. So there you go. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Okay, sounded like there was a status effect trying to uh, land on my butt there. Uh, that one's done. More spiders. That was an invisible spider as well. Ooh. Concerning that, isn't it? All right, let's get rid of this guy. Another invis guy here. Uh, wait, where'd he go? Or is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, we got another ominous key. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so we now have yet another box that we can open. And it's going to be this one up here. Ladies and gentlemen, the third ominous vault. Opening up, we've got ourselves a notch apple, some specialized arrows, some diamonds, an enchanted book. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, actually. All right, I'd quite like to see what this has. Windburst 1, a brand new enchant. 
Nice. You know what? We have the Donut Museum back at the Season 1 area of the world full of, like, special items. And this is definitely going to go in there. For our first ever ominous trial chamber taken down. So, yeah, we're going to keep this one apart from everything else. All right, very good. So, let's see if we can find some other areas that might have trial boxes, challenge boxes, whatever you want to call them. There is indeed another ominous vault up there, so that'll be our fourth one, if we can get ourselves a key for it, that is. I do seem to recall a room up here. I think it's going to have a lot of spiders in it, though, so let's make sure we're going into this thing with our food nicely topped up and yeah should be up here right yeah this my friends is about to go crazy spiders spiders another spider oh my god boom we're about to get cornered here aren't we oh come on now spiders don't do that much damage we should be able to do more damage to them than they can to us uh, oh, oh, screw this. You know what? Let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Just slap them around a little bit. <laughs> now, just to give you a play-by-play -play of what's happening here, we've got two of the spider spawners simultaneously spawning a bunch of dudes on me. Wait, can they actually spawn spider jockeys? That's crazy. I have no clue that that could happen. All right. Now, there's this guy. There's this guy over here. And what is that it? Uh, what have we got over here? Oh, another trial key. Nice. And this one has yet another trial key. Oh, dude. Okay, I think we've just won this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not done yet, folks. We're not done yet. Not by any means. Oh, that feather falling kind of dealio. It's actually kind of frustrating to deal with, but never mind. Okay, well, that's that guy done. Uh, there's a wind charge trying to roll on over to me. I'm not going to let it. We're going to top up on our food. And we're going to get right back to this thing. Oh, yeah. We can't use bows against these guys, right? So, boom, boom, boom. And come on. Slap. Slap him. Go on, get out of here, son. Whoa, what is that? Strength? Oh, wow. We just got a random strength effect. I hope that doesn't mean that uh, these guys also have strength, though. Because that would actually be kind of sucky. That guy's done. And, oh, that's about it. Another trial key. Nice. All right. So, I know for a fact there was one ominous vault in the previous room. Whether or not there's going to be one down here, though, remains to be seen. What's that? Okay, so nothing. There's just a regular box there that's already been opened. So, nothing down bottom here, but I'm not about to give up just yet. We need to check out the top layer of this particular place. Ah, unfortunately, it would appear that there's no ominous vault in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, hang on. I take that back. There is. There's one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, ominous vault number four. I can't believe we've got one spare key as well. That's fantastic. Notch apple, diamonds, emeralds, more emeralds, a diamond chest plate. Wow. What's this got? Protection two, thorns one, unbreaking two. That's not a bad little chest plate right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that just leaves the final ominous vault. And then that's literally it for this entire trial chamber. I would have opened every single vault. All of the lower end ones and all of the higher end ones. <laughs> Fantastic. I wasn't expecting to get so lucky with all of the ominous keys that we've managed to get today. Like, really, I'm absolutely chuffed a bit. Uh, right, let's just do a little bit of inventory management, perhaps. I'm going to keep the copper on me because, you know, copper build with the enchanting lighthouse we're going to be doing eventually. Uh, I would quite like to pick up these candles because why not? And finally, let's do this thing. The final one. Oh, an armor trim, wind bursts, emeralds, iron block. No sign sadly, of the mace. Well, it's not the mace. It's the uh, heavy core to make the mace, isn't it? But there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, our first trial chamber is entirely done. We now no longer need to do anything in here. That's it. We have this ominous trial key to use with a future trial chamber, I guess. So yeah, 
we're done. So let's go home with our heads held high. We survived that. And well, frankly, we absolutely pummeled that trial chamber, didn't we? Even at the higher level. I'm so chuffed. What have we got? 45 minutes? It barely took us 15 minutes to take down that entire higher level trial chamber. That is ridiculous, isn't it? But then again, we did have some pretty good gear going into it. We had a sharpness for a sword, powerful bow. We've got, you know, protection of some form on all of my armor as well. So, you know, I, I think we came out of that really, really good. As for my feedback for the top difficulty level trial chamber... Again, I really enjoy it. Like, I seriously do. It's definitely a challenge. I mean, if you're not going to have a bunch of seriously geared up mobs on you, you're just going to have a ridiculous amount of enemies on you. Either way, it's a challenge, my friends. It really is. You can get some dudes that have diamond armor on. It's just, ah, oh, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? But you know what? I am absolutely here for it. I really am. I love this new Trial Chamber dungeon. I think it's a brilliant addition to the game. Unfortunately for us, we did not manage to get for ourselves the heavy core. But, my friends, do you want to know the craziest thing? According to the wiki, at the time of me recording this video here today... There was a significantly higher chance of getting a heavy core from those ominous vaults than getting a block of diamonds. To give you the exact numbers, again, at the time I've been making this video, looking on the wiki, the heavy core has a 7.5% drop chance from an ominous vault. Do you want to know what the percent drop chance of blocks of diamonds are? 0 0.8. It has got to be one of the rarest drops from an ominous vault going. And we managed to get one. That is insane. So yeah, another reason to go home. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just fed my mule a golden apple. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well, I guess we can both celebrate. I celebrate with all my loot and my mule can celebrate carrying me back and having a nice golden apple for lunch. Or dinner because it's about to become night time. So then my friends, I think to finish off, we're going to do just a little bit of further enchanting. Only we do now have 32 levels. We got a good amount of XP from that uh, higher end trial chamber, didn't we? So yeah, I'll absolutely take that. We'll get ourselves maybe another diamond pickaxe and then, oh, I don't know, both the axe and the hoe are relatively low. So I tell you what, I'm going to go for another axe because I do still need quite a lot of wood for my eventual lighthouse build. I'm breaking three on a pickaxe or unbreaking three on an axe or neither and we do a dud enchant. Ah, screw it. Let's do this. Boom. Ah, that's kind of sucky. I won't lie. Efficiency four. That's not bad. We'll quickly get ourselves up to 30 levels via this villager here. Ah, oh, we need a little bit more. I might buy some lanterns. I mean, why not? I love lanterns. Efficiency four guaranteed. What do we got? Okay, nice workhorse pickaxe. We can simply put Silk Touch on top of that if we so wished. So then, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it is going to be time to wrap up today's episode. I mean, really, my only goal of today's episode was to just take down the higher level trial chamber dungeon. And we did. We passed it with flying colors. It was actually pretty easy with our current gear set. I wonder how low down in terms of gear you can go and still be able to take down a trial chamber dungeon at the highest level. I mean, I dare say in the future there's going to be like trial chamber speed runs and all that kind of crazy stuff. I dare say there'll also be some folks who try to take down the higher level trial chamber dungeon with just no armor at all. And to those people, I say good luck. <laughs> But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed today's episode, my friends. And I really hope that you have enjoyed what you've seen today. Of course, drop a like if you have. I'd very much appreciate the support, my friends. Remember, 1,000 likes and the next episode comes out tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.